Hello everybody, I just want to do an update on my watch project. Um, so, what I'm doing is trying to switch over to a different um, microcontroller. Um, on this one I'm using the um, AT, AT Tiny 85 um, which is on a DigiSpark uh, module. Um, so I just bought the whole DigiSpark uh, programmer which comes along with the AT Tiny 85. Um, so that's what's powering this, but uh, the problem is I want to add more to the program, the watch program, and this chip doesn't have enough space so that I can add anything. For example, I want to add a stopwatch and, and more functionality to the watch, um, but I can't do that right now with this one uh, because it just doesn't have enough um, flash uh, space. Um, so. Another thing is, it also, if I switch to a different one, I could have more ports. Uh, so, for example, I could add on a heart rate monitor or something like that um, if I had enough ports, because this one does not have enough ports to do that. So I can't do anything um, like that on here. So this was just the um, very first prototype. And then this is the um, second one. It's... it's um, it's also using the AT1085, um, but it's just on a PCB board instead of all soldered in there and glued together. Um, so this one I designed a, a PCB board for it and soldered it all together and it looks a little bit more clean. Um, the only issue is with this one is that it's big so because there's a giant battery in there, the RTC module is taking up space, the this plug's taking up space, so what I need to do is um, next time I create uh, design the PCB board, I need to make a hole for the battery of the RTC module, and then also I bought a smaller um, charging port. Um, the smaller charging ports are like this, so they're quite a bit smaller. Um, and then I also do have uh, smaller batteries, and the batteries that I've got are only five um five millimeters and in, in thickness so let me go ahead and try to find one of those uh so i can just show y'all so i got quite a bit of stuff for this project okay nope that's not the five millimeter one i have too many things let's see Okay, that's a pretty small one. That's not the smallest, though. I do have a small. Okay, here they are. They're only five millimeters in thickness. So, uh, you know, you can see that compared to this one or the one on here. So I'll be able to make it a lot um, thinner. So that's one other objective, and that's also another reason why. I can use a different chip. And what I'm trying to upgrade to is the AT Tiny 167. AT Tiny 167. Uh, so that's what this is. Um, the chip is actually really small. They're really small. Let me grab one of these from here just so y'all can see it. This is the AT Tiny. 167. It's really small, and it's all in its um, in one of these uh, adapters. It's an SOP28 um, DIP28.65. Uh, um, I guess millimeters in the in between each pin. Um, well, not 0.65 millimeters. It's something around there. It's something. But anyways, it's this adapter that holds the ATtiny 167. And then I have it all set up. This is the RTC module. Uh, the NeoPixel is over here. And what I'm doing is using a programmer. Um, and this is... I, I'm, I created an Arduino ISP programmer. 
using a Doom 11. Uh, right now, I just have it hooked up to a battery, but I can plug this into the computer so I can program the chip. Um, so, since I have that programmed, this is what I have so far. Um, and this should, this is also a lot faster booting up. Um, let me just show you, um, for example, when I take off the power negative lead, and I'm going to put it in now. See how fast that booted up? It literally takes about zero seconds. It instantly starts up compared to one that takes five seconds. And the reason this one takes five seconds, I believe, is because it uses the DigiSpark um, module, which, which, which it allows five seconds at the start so that it can be programmed um, in the in that five seconds um, because when you when you're programming one of these you have to disconnect it and plug it back in and then upload so it gives it five seconds to upload you uh, the program onto it and I believe that's why this is substantially slower when booting up compared to this I do believe if I got a pure AT1085 chip it would boot up pretty fast um, but there are the benefits, as I talked about, of having this chip, more space, um, it's faster, it's smaller, and it has more pins. So, that's about it. I just wanted to do an update. Uh, I can do, I'll do a video on how to set this up um, more in detail um, sometime soon. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.